Peace and earth wellness, peace and earth wellness. We're gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna put these four soaps together. I'm gonna end up doing uh, lemongrass and um, sage, one of our big sellers there. I'm gonna also end up throwing um, together, hopefully, a uh, some um, lavender along with our turmeric bar. Our turmeric bar is also uh, something that we sell a lot and last but least one of our favorite soaps uh, we kind of created I feel like we created all of them but we're going to make um, the moringa the activated charcoal along with the turmeric bar and soap is kind of complex and what you end up having to do is you know really be thinking and cognizant of what you're doing because it's going to be a lot of moving parts, as you'll see in a minute. You're going to see there's a lot of moving parts. And I'm going to try to myself keep up with it as best as I can. Because um, it gets a little hectic when you get deep in the, in the soap streets. So uh, I'm about to... Jump in real quick and, you know, hopefully see if we can work this out. Shout out to my man, Big Bug. All right, first thing I'm going to do, everything starts with the scale. I got my scale set, set up over here so I can uh, weigh my stuff out um, the way that I need it. Uh, hopefully your weights and stuff. You'll be knowing yours, but I got certain amounts of oil and certain amounts of lye that I got to put together to fill our molds. So, um, yeah, here we go. Uh, I was thinking about it the whole time, how I'm going to transport this oil the way I want to. And I think I'm going to just try to carry the big thing over there. Now, let me see. Let's tear this at zero. Yeah, to see what I'm doing in a second here, but right now what I got to do is this get the ball rolling and you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little later 100%. I'm at 3.7 now, so I'm going to add a little bit. Got the exact amount of oil that I want. Can't go over that. It's got to be kind of exactly your amount because you're dealing with this lie, and this lie has to be not to harm anyone. You have to have the right amount of fats in there for the lie to pretty much disseminate, and you get soapification. So once you get your amount. What I do is tear it out and start from zero again. Another thing, when handling a lot, you normally want to have some gloves on. Stuff eats right through your skin. This is the, the part of the, uh, this, this is part of the job. This is a little particular, and unless you train your kids well, this is why I, in our soap classes, normally with the kids, that 
we go the route that we go because we can't have them handling any life. So watch how I do it. Uh, understand only that I'm an expert and a professional in this field that I don't have to use the glasses. Um, but I will tell you a story that my family knows and We have one place for the last to go, and it's down up under, kind of like up under that gray bucket, up under our thing there. And we try to make sure that that always stay there. We never move the lie around. The lie has to stay there, period. Okay. So, here we are. Another thing you have to do now is take the temperature. Uh, I like my temperatures around 100 to 95 to 110 and down. Sometimes you can have them a little higher, they're a little better. Um, but uh, right now what I'm gonna do is try to get a small trace on it. And once you get that small trace on it, I can start to manipulate it a little bit more. Everybody use a stick blender. Our ancestors didn't have these. So the process was a little more sacred. A lot longer. That took me down to like 107. So for this actual batch, for me, I have to kind of get the moving. You know, I don't want it to drop under 100. And I have to watch to make sure I don't, I don't like to, if you bring your stick up too much, it's gonna splatter everywhere. So I have to watch exactly how far I bring it up and I have a little technique that I use. I have a few rags here that I always need. The first thing here I'm going to do is separate. Check my temperature, see how much time. Temperature is like time, 106. Uh, for me anyway. Always have your rag on the ready to do some wiping or keeping your place as best you can um, with the heat. Um, I'm tracing where I want it yet right now. To be I'm just getting a little bit more in there. Spin on it, but I know I got to do a little bit more spinning. So the first thing is I'm going to add in this particular one is charcoal. Activate charcoal, guys. You can take a deep drip of this and be straight. Also, right here, what I'm going to do is grab my essential oil. Once you put this oil in, stuff really started moving.
trace speeds up very fast. Should have had this open. No, I didn't. Smells delicious. I need to move, guys. I need to be moving. Tell, I feel my time running out. This is about where I want it. What that charcoal does is let's see, being that I'm using just one, I have another one that I'm going to use, but what I normally do. I have a lot of rags. I'm going to try to clean that instantly as soon as I get it out. I'd like to use it again. Red bucket right there. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the corner of this. And scoop this on up out of here. Cut my time. Trace is a little thicker, it's not running, so my soap is starting to soap up on me. I have to be tied into the vet and move accordingly. And I'm just spreading this out, getting, getting it evenly. I got these two things that I can't forget, which is a new. They're still spinning real good. So the first one is Moringa. Get my scoop of that. Fresh organic stuff I use it um, to eat as well. Mm -hmm. the teas and soups and everything else. Yeah. Great stuff. Use it for a reason. All right. I don't need it exactly clean, but then I come in with this one right over. This is about where I need that. Always take this off when you're cleaning it. I want to go ahead and pour that in there. I want to 
pour it in while I still got a little liquidy. That deep pour right there is going to pour it down deep to the bottom a little bit. Make some little faces and stuff in there. You can go ahead and do your one pattern. Maybe. You know? Do your good pattern. And you have to move fast because you got this one now. And we're going to also put a little turmeric in this one. Turmeric is a good anti inflammatory. And as I read, that is not a actual anything that's in turn turmeric that is an anti-inflammatory but it turns on your fox oak region and that gene on a cellular level for your whole body turns on the ring of black turns on the um antioxidant that you need for all cells so that turmeric doesn't do it itself, but it turns on the mechanisms in the body that makes the whole body move and conduct itself as and, um, the agent that it is, which is a, is a great anti-inflammatory agent. thick on me guys I mean I gotta move I got to move now I got that tumor that I'm gonna shoot down there and I just let gravity push it down to the bottom on the inside But right here, so I still got a little minute to put a top on it, and that means I'm gonna let it get a little harder, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually um, imprint a little design in the top. Just talking to so far. Um, you know, you kind of want to clean as you go. All right, so I got one down. Okay. My soap is still on the side. I mean, oil is getting cooler and cooler. So I have to be, I haven't made in a while. So I have to just be thinking to myself that I gotta move faster. And this next one, um, and I think we're gonna come up with one good batch right there, guys. That looks like a keeper. You know, and you clean everything right there. Man. You don't want to end up after all of this with a big cleanup on your hands. That's what you want to do. It's going to put you in a downward spiral how you take care of your business and a lot of other things. Clean it up right then. Jars ready to use, even though if you got new other jars ready to go. Turn up these as you go. Now, everything really could be used again if I need it, but no. I got a big bag of rags. You get them big bags of rags that. Um, 
Restaurant Depot got a cheap loser. So many legs. Bang. Even your, even your bow. These, this it's kind of like you're just getting out soap. So when you wash these rags, your house gonna smell good. Um, these rags is gonna uh, make everything smell good that's around them. All right, now I can check the top of it yet and see if I want to put a face on it and or start my next one. Let me see. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard enough for me to put a face on it. I'm gonna put my my face on it, which is the spoon groove. That's my signature space. So if you see that soap mark like this right here, is one of mine. That's my signature move. So yeah, boom. So got one down. Alright. Say so we're doing four or more. So we back up next with we're gonna let's go ahead and try to get this one out of the way. Which is the sage. Let me grab some. First thing we win. Like to wait for it. Gotta check my Keep. Basically 129 with the oil. Go ahead and put it over here. I think I can tear out my bucket again. I think I can pick it up now. Well, I was wrong. Got the amount of fat to that one. And the most dangerous part. Clear it You go over the amount of lines that you have added up and calculated because these are your calculations. You have, if you one point over, point zero one over, you need to go back and add point zero one of all to equal out your equation with whatever amount of volume you was using but I said that to say that you know whatever if you go over with your lie you have to accommodate with the pads it's a good rule of thumb right. fill them with 127 before I start to do this which is good What I'm going to do this time is this, I'm not going to 
rush myself as much. And the way you do that, I'm at 105 already. The way you do that is start when it's liquidy, you know. Don't let don't let your trace get a stick. Because once your trace get a stick, it's kind of the start of the ending. And for my lemongrass sage, I don't need two, I need one. Use the best sage I can find. Mmm. Get you a good, big, fresh scoop of sage in there, because sage, as many know, not only is a food, it's first and foremost a food. It's something used for consumption. But sage was such an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti um uh, acidic. Uh, it was anti everything almost. It just cleaned the body. You know, it just totally cleaned the body in a way that whenever you had a sickness or anything, you took sage. You know. And just in theory, from us being a spiritual people. What we started doing is we said, hey, man, this sage, this sage cleans everything. Let's use it to clean the things, it's already clean these things that we don't see, like disease and all this other stuff. Let's use it now to clean these things that we really don't see. Like bad spirits and energy. They start saying, look, let's just use and burn sage as a cleansing of Metaphysical living. If those same people that was it was cleaning the body so good in the, in the interior existence, they said this sage have to be able to do something with the exterior existence. So what they started doing was burning the sage using it in certain rituals and in certain rites to cleanse. It was a new time for our people. It was a new time for thinking. You had a lot of... Back in the real initial movements of this, we had great people who watched and observed and they realized that the sage was working. They really thought the sage was working. It was more of the intent of the person working, but being that they put the intent on the sage and the sage moved the disease, sickness, and whatever, uh, you know, uh, degrading thing they had around them or on them, um, they, you know, it, it worked. So... Sage kind of then, instead of a food product, people started selling it to more as a ritual product and a cleansing product for etherical um, uncleanliness. So people felt that it was more important instead of the garnish on their food instead of to take as a medicine over their physical soul they decided to cleanse and have it protect their spiritual self they figured their spiritual self is more important 
and their physical self. And in the thinking, that's that's a that's something that you know we need to see and go back and really realize when people starting to say, hey, you know, my physical body, even though it's the thing that I, you know, sleep, walk, talk in, is less important than my ethereal body that may keep the physical body at close. So uh, this sage was an integral part of how that transformation went down. And it went down. This is one of the, let's say, we can say the artifacts. Sage is one of the artifacts that we can use and look back and say, hey, look, look at Sage. Sage once was this. Sage started being used as this. Sage turned into this. And it would describe how the people started to change and the thinking started to develop. We make this with and without the, the fragrance. But we also make our own lemongrass, so time we sprinkle our lemongrass, we have our lemongrass up there. And I'm just looking at everything, you know, I got, you know, you have time to clean. Boom. See that? Go and clean that right there. Damn. You got zero for two with work to do when you're done. We normally sometimes use mad micas for coloring soap. But we use marbles as well. There are two good companies that uh, we particularly deal with. You can deal with a lot of soap companies out there. We ain't, I shouldn't have showed you their name because we're not, <laughs> we're not sponsoring them or anything. And I'm checking my time on it. I'm about uh, 32 minutes in, 33 minutes in, and I want to be a little further in. It's not going to be an hour for all four. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. The other that I'm going to do is going to be a little quicker. Um, but once again, I'm going to clean everything so I can just use this again. Yeah, that sage has 160 um, polyphenols that help us and polyphenols normally are in like the skins of blueberries and the skins of a lot of the fruits and the body don't break it down so it kind of gets further in the digestive system the further you get in our digestive system the better till you get all the way to start ingesting fiber and fiber pretty much can't be um, broken down by nothing other than the real you. And the real you breaks that stuff down pretty good and this is a different floor that I love to as you see. I have a different design that we do with this. We kind of I to stay consistent with whatever design we're using per bar of soap. And I'm pouring this so where most of it is just going to sit on top. I don't want it to go far down in my soap. And it did. It did pretty much what I wanted it to do. I'm feeling good.
you you know, we normally have a Sopras Creed in which I haven't I haven't spoken, but the soap guys also can feel your heart and they know that I'm out here trying to take uh, take some of the the load off my baby being that she's pregnant. And, she wanted to be out here doing it, but I got the balance to stay. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's her. But it gets done. I put some of this stuff up, put my millennia up, and save it up. We got two dudes below. Two good for loaves there. Two more to go. And man, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Let's go with the. Mmm, let's go with the lavender. Let's it up, girl. Let's go. Let's go. First thing, y'all should know the deal by now. Get your weight. Your weight. It's a soap man. We normally use over five pounds. We master batch, we do big, big things. Dangerous part. See, there's a lot of stuff I can tell you about in this life. I'll tell you a story, you know, I won't forget. I went a point two over. So as I said before, now I got to kind of go back with a little bit more oil. Got to go back with a little bit more oil. Bang, got it. Yeah, the story I was going to tell you guys about, you know, the Battle family know it, but I'm going to put you guys on it. Um, my mom's Mary Allen, which is, man, she's the greatest mother on the planet. Your mom can't be close to my mom. I mean, I can go on and on and on how my mom's better, but that's here or there. We're going to go ahead and keep it moving. Uh... But anyway, she had a situation, and her and my pops was together 56 years. And, um, there was a situation. This lady was, I guess, going to try to take my mom. And take my mom, take my pops from my mom. 
So she came to the house and they had this she had this concoction she had made, but box lye or lye that they're using soap as the main ingredient. And when my mom opened the door, she threw it in her face. So that was the time that back then they didn't really go to the doctor or anything like that for it. My pops knew what to do, but my mom had lost her sight for about five months. trick up her sleeve as well. And they kinda got to jousting with let's say jousting against each other with call it craft work uh, and I think in the end my mom kind of won okay. somehow to find a purple I need eyeball it like me. In them days, you know, they dealt with things a little differently. And I'll just say, we, I've never, we never, I never, that says the way she got handled 1000 percent Now look at it. Uh, the lavender actually we use as an exfoliant. Um, most of it is locally grown lavender, some of it we do order, but smells wonderful, it's a natural exfoliant, so once the soap moves on you and it gets on your rag and moves on you, it's going to help scrub off the dirt and the oils that may be deep in your skin. Lavender goes deep, deep, deep in your pores. that it holds all the dirt it's gonna go deep in your pores and then it don't clog up your pores now I was I hope I'm not too late on our lemongrass for I didn't do my signature face top let's see yeah I still got the ability to do it if you can see it I'm knocking it out now but I almost missed it it'll get too hard to where I can't do it like this no more. I would have to think of something else. But I got it. Boom. Put that extra 
fasting center that just totally indulged in 100% natural wellness. And that's what we try to do. That's what we try to give you. But everything we do, uh, let's get this lavender pour up, baby. Huh? Yeah, we're going to get this lavender pour up. Oh yeah. Once again guys, I think we're gonna be providing you with a perfect lavender bar here. It smells wonderful. It has the consistency I want. And we won't know until a couple of days, but uh Do all this first to find out. To find out. I like that. I like that part of it that's not so quick and fast. Shot back ready. Quick, don't take I got some little stuff down here that I got to clean up and get out of the way, but for the most part, I'm doing my thing. Yeah. I gotta get this turmeric bar out. Oh no. You know what? I said maybe. Yeah. Uh, we have to get the turmeric bar out because turmeric also helps with hyperpigmentation. A lot of people um, have hyperpigmentation, and what turmeric does as well is smooth out that skin, get those black spots evened out on your skin. moving guys you know if you haven't got that million yet you 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 got to work more than 50 hours a week you got to work 60 70 80 hours a week you get off work you get on home you sleep for an hour two you get back up you start working
Press down, get the bucket up, tear it out, come back to zero, get the line. Some bars I use, I never put smell with it. Turmeric is one of those bars, never comes with a smell. It's a medicinal bar. I make a sage bar like that, a moringa bar like that, charcoal bar like that, coffee bar like that. I make a lot of bars like that simply because, um, you know, we like to smell good, but. We we rather help the skin more than you smell to tell the truth. Okay, I said it. I rather help your skin than how you smelling like balloons or whatever you like to smell like. You know, we serious about this wellness a little bit. And yeah, that's just what it is. Get that fresh tumor once again. I said it turns on the Fox O3 gene in the body. Hyperpigmentation, antioxidant. That's really shouldn't be used like that. Should be used differently because it's not an antioxidant. It's the thing that actually turns on your body antioxidant factory. It makes your body. <laughs> Face up there, face. What up, face? $10 off anybody order that knows who used to say that. Let me see. What up, face? What up, face? What up, face? Still on this tumor, boy. Ninety-nine. I'm gonna drop it. Now I've been using this.
the same stick because I cleaned it. I got me another one sitting here, but I didn't I never used it yet. Didn't have to use it yet. Doing pretty good. 55 minutes. I'm off the mark I wanted to make, but I'm on the mark I spoke to make. Trust the movie that. Making soap is wise to also always, always, 1000% always, never without it. Always. Have you some vinegar on hand? Vinegar, um, Word I'm looking for kind of uh, let's say it kills deactivates the lie so if you were to have little small lie splashes on you even sometimes it'll be eating on you and you can't see it spray yourself down with some apple cider vinegar Got a little time. But too much haven't set like I wanted it yet to put this on top of it. A little extra cleaner. All my little things right here. Go ahead and clean them up. Get them ready back. And end up buying a lot of them. Use a lot of ingredients that deep cleanse the skin. That's for both of those um, activated charcoal and that lavender oil does. It deep cleans the skin. And the lavender also helps with your skin pH. Very important. A lot of people don't. Acknowledge that your pH is the reason why you're ha having the skin problems you're having. Skin's a little too acidic. If it's over 5.5, you're probably, uh, yeah, well, what is it? Yeah, 5.5 to 6. Below 5.5, I think the face skin starts to uh, either get a little too oily and everything else starts to happen. Pretty much putting all my ingredients up. We're up at 80 bars. I got one more to make. I got another one. Mix it up 
and don't do anything and I kind of like to top my turmeric off with that. Pour a little down in it. Get that cream in there all the way. For the most part, Okay, so for an hour, we're going to make about 80 for us. We did a lot though. Let's not make it one bar, we're going to buy the soap and ready. I got enough for one more. more oils tomorrow. They make a straight charcoal. But so we're gonna use that one. Hmm. Kind of gonna go off the rip here. A little bit more time, a little bit more oil. Got one more, more, one more patch. Uh, I think I will go with. Let me see what I'm doing. Uh. Right now we're going to be peace out with that earth well as you see it. Uh, quick soaping. Uh, I'm going to top this turmeric in a minute. I'll save you some pictures later. Uh, peace out.